Welcome everyone. This is Soul Sweat with Julia and I am Julia. If you want to stay up to date on all my latest classes, please hit the subscribe button. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. So today I have a quick little flow for you. It's going to be a 30-ish minute flow. It's a full body flow and it'll get you into all parts of the body. So if you have a block, I'd love for you to grab a block. If you don't have a block, no big deal. Um, you can always grab a pillow, something like that, because we are going to start in Varasana today, and so you might want that to sit on, and you may not need it, but I recommend trying it if you are newer to Varasana. You want to place that block underneath you, sit back behind it, and take the calves, bring the knees together, take the calves, roll the calves out of the way, and bring the tops of the feet down. Shoulders are over the hip. Take your hands, place them face down on your thighs. And again, you can always move the block depending on how you feel or how your knees are in this pose. And take a few moments to settle in. Settle into you. Just taking a quick scan, checking in with yourself, how you're feeling today. What you're feeling. And where you may be feeling it. And let's check in moving a little bit deeper as we do with the breath. Starting off by taking a nice deep inhale in to fill your breath all the way up to the top. Anything you need to release, let go. Big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Let's do that again. Inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. On your next breath, inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Pause, seal up your lips, press the air back out through your nose. As you transition into this ujjayi breath, dragging the breath in through the nose and deep into the belly with your inhales. Exhaling from the belly, the ribs, the throat, and back out through your nose. And right now, while you're here breathing, I'm gonna set an intention. So as I asked you to check in on how you're feeling today, I want you to bring that into your practice. One of the beautiful gifts about movement, for me, is the physical expression that comes from that. Getting to put all the feelings I have, the thoughts that I have into the movement without even saying a word. So whatever you may be feeling today, we come to our mat each and every day feeling differently. I want you to bring that onto your mat today. Let it move through you as you practice here. It's a wonderful way to free ourselves from hanging on to those emotions that we sometimes keep trapped inside us. Right now, as you welcome this intention into your mind, this energy into your heart, let's take one more nice deep inhale in to fill the breath all the way up to the top. One more time, nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> On your next breath, blink the eyes open, glide forward if you have that block behind you, just bring it to the top of the mat. Come onto the hands and the knees, make your way into a table pose. And straight away on your next inhale, lift the heart forward through the shoulders, tailbone to the sky. Take a moment, pause in cow pose, roll the shoulder blades down the back, expand the collarbones high to the sky. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, tuck the chin, dome through the spine. Maybe shake out your head a little yes, a little no. And once again, inhale, heart lifts, tailbone rises. Exhale, tuck the chin, dome through the spine. Take a few more rounds of cat cow on your own, your breath, your movement. Maybe you're swaying the hips along the way. Giving the neck a little roll out, whatever you need here. One more round of breath right here. On your next breath, bring it back into center, neutral spine. Walk the hands forward, plant through the palms, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Make your way into high plank pose. Top of a push-up. All ten fingers separated nice and wide. And flattening all ten knuckles into the earth. Put a little micro bend to the elbows. Push the earth away. 
with the palms and the hands as you start to activate the muscles in the upper arms and upper back. Keep the belly button pulling in, the front ribs lifting up to the back of the body. Take an inhale here. Exhale, drop both heels over to the left side. Right hand stays grounded. It's getting a little stretch on that right side, a little work on the left side. Keep the heart gliding forward. Shoulders over the wrist. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale back through center. Exhale, both heels drop to the other side. And heart slides forward. Keeping that plank pose shape in the upper body. And breathing through. One more breath like this. On your next breath, bring it back through center. Take an inhale here. Exhale, hips up, chest back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Go ahead, pedal into the feet. Walk it out by the right knee from the left heel down. Bending into the left knee from the right heel down. And again, a couple more breaths to move here. Maybe waggling the hips or bending the elbows, whatever you need in these moments. On your next breath, inhale high up onto the balls of the feet. A little bend into the knees. Exhale, heavy the heels towards the earth. One more time, inhale high up onto the toes. Bend the knees and drop the heels towards the mat. Pause. Find a couple breaths of stillness in your dog. Feeling that expansion through the upper back. The head dangling in between the biceps. And then pick the sit bones up a little higher to the sky as you melt the heels a little closer to the earth and hide them behind your second toe. On your next breath, inhale. Straight away, right leg drifts to the sky. Turn the toes out to the side. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Circle it out in one direction. Sweep those circles back the other direction. Lengthen the right leg out, toes turn down, inhale. Exhale, right knee into the nose. And step the foot in between the hands. Soften the left knee all the way down to the mat. Swap the hands up the belly of that right thigh. Low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Pull your right hip back, left forward. And draw the navel in as you lift the frontal hip bones up. Next, inhale, both arms rise overhead. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Pinky fingers spiral in, thumb fingers out. One more breath like this. Next breath. Inhale, kiss the palms at the top. Exhale, circle the hands down to the mat. Shift the hips back, straighten into your right leg. Half splits, Ardha Hamadasana. Inhale, find length through the spine. And as you exhale, draw the heart towards the toes, folding in. Keep those right toes flexing back. Heel pressing forward. One more breath here. Next breath. Inhale, lift the heart. Rebend into the right knee. Tuck your left toes under. Float your left knee up off the mat. Soften the knees and inhale, slowly rise. Crescent pose. Arms overhead once again. Right hip pulls back, left hip forward. Maybe you're putting a nice deep bend into that left knee to help lengthen the tailbone towards the earth. Keep that low belly pulling in. Notice if the right toes are scrunching up. If so, pick them up, fan them out. Press through the ball of the foot and then soften those toes back down. One more breath here. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms together, lift the heart. Lengthen into your right leg, pivot to the left leg. Side lunge, skandhasana at the back of your mat. Turn those right toes up as you put a nice deep bend into that left knee. You can keep the hands down. If you want to take the hands to heart center, feel free. Just make sure that that knee isn't collapsing, right? I have a tendency to hyperextend my knees. So I have to be mindful. Maybe you do too. <laughs> Keeping a little bend in that knee if you do. Let's take one more breath here. Next breath. Pivot to face the back of your back. Take an inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. And as you exhale, step that right foot to meet the left, facing the back of your mat or the back of your room. 
Inhale, fingers to shins. Find length, Ardha Uttanasana. Pull the heart through. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Circle your arms wide to standing. Palms kiss overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bend your knees, hips sit low. Chair pose and pause right here. Keep the hips shifting back, heart lifting. Navel in, front ribs knitting to the back of the body. Can you shift the weight back a little bit further into your heels as you sit the hips down deeper and peel the heart up higher. Take one more breath like this. Next breath, tee the arms out to the side, inhale. Exhale, left elbow sweeps underneath the right elbow, right elbow on top. So we are moving into Garudasana Eagle. So if it's available today, palms are going to come together. If not, back for the hands or maybe wrap for your shoulders. Pause right there. Shift the weight into that right foot. Pop up onto the ball of the left foot. Left knee lifts up. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, drape that left thigh around the right thigh. Once you get there, I want you to press those shoulders back over the hips. Lift the elbows up to shoulder height. Take an inhale. Exhale, roll the shoulder blades down the back. Pull the forearms away from the face. Keep that right hip, right glute hugging in. So you sit a little deeper into this. Next breath. Take an inhale here. Lift the heart a little higher. Just play with it. Who cares if you wobble and fall? Exhale, elbows tap the knee. Slow with control. Rise it back up. Beautiful. Unwind that left leg. Shift the feet back into that right leg. Standing up tall with an inhale. One leg Tadasana. Arms still intertwined. Exhale, put that left heel back behind you. Virabhadrasana three. Eagle arms. Warrior three. Drive through that left heel like you mean it. Activate the leg. Gonna help to keep you lifted here. On your next breath, unwind the arms. Sweep the arms alongside the hips. <laughs> Should feel good. Nice release there. Take one more breath like this. Next breath. Bend deep into that right knee. Giant foot light step back. Crescent pose. Arms rise. Inhale. Kiss the palms. Lift the heart. Exhale as you lengthen your right leg. Pivot to the left leg. Once again, side lunge. Skandasana towards the front of the mat. And then move through it a little bit quicker this time. Pivot to face forward. Right palm plants. Left arm lifts. Find a twist. Pulling that left hip back. Keep the sacrum even and flat as you pick that right thigh up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist open. You are more than welcome to stay here. Or if you want to move into Vashi Stasana, Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Send that left leg back. Side plank pose. Maybe you're taking modified, dropping that right knee down. Lots of variations here. Pick the hips up a little bit higher. Sweep that left arm alongside the ear. One more breath here. It's all together. Float that left leg. Circle the left hand down. If your left foot is still forward, step it back. Three-legged plank. You're more than welcome to drop that right knee if you need to. Take an inhale. Exhale. Left knee to nose. Inhale. Kick it straight back. Exhale. Left knee, left tricep. Inhale. Kick it straight back. Exhale. Left to right tricep. Inhale. Kick it straight back. Feel free to keep that left leg lifted as you lower down halfway chaturanga. Press it right back up. High plank. Exhale, downward facing, left foot drops down. Beautiful. Take a nice deep inhale, fill the breath up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. One more time, inhale, fill it up. And exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Next breath, inhale, left leg drifts to the sky. Turn the toes out, bend the knee, open up the hip. Take some circles. Sweep that leg in one direction. And we'll circle back the other direction. Lengthen the left leg out. Toes turn down. Inhale. Exhale. Left knee to nose. And step it through. 
Melt that right knee all the way down to the mat. Crawl the hands up the belly of your left thigh. Pull the left hip back, right slightly forward there. Again, lifting those hip bones up to help lengthen the tailbone down. Start to feel that activation in the inner thigh, squeezing in. Next inhale, both arms rise. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Let's take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms, lift the heart. Exhale, sweep the hands down on either side of your left foot. Shift the hips back, straighten your left leg. Inhale, half lift, Parda. Exhale, folding in to Arda Hamanasana, half splits. Left toes are flexing back, left heels pressing forward. If you breathe through the back of that left leg, one more breath. Next breath. Inhale, lift up, re-bend the left knee, tuck the right toes under, float that leg, soften the right knee, inhale to rise up, crescent pose. Again, nice deep bend in that right knee to start. Hug that left hip in as you pick the frontal hip bones up. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful. I'm squeezing everything in through the midline, the center, to find that buoyancy for one more breath. Next breath, inhale, kiss the palms, lengthen the left leg, pivot to the right leg, side lunge, skandasana, towards the back of your mat, bending deep into that right knee, left leg is long, taking a few moments here to breathe, Then watch that left knee if it's collapsing, put a little softness to it, pick it back up. Take one more breath here. Next breath, pivot to face the back of your mat. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, as you step that left foot to meet the right foot. Once again, inhale, fingers to shins, find length, Ardha Hamanasana, or not Ardha Hamanasana, excuse me. <laughs> Ardha Uttanasana, inhale, exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet, sweep the arms wide to standing, palms kiss. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Bend your knees, hips sit low, chair pose. Just breathe here for a couple breaths, hugging those outer glutes in. Continue to press through the balls of the feet on the big toe side, activating those inner thighs. One more breath like this. Next breath, T the arms open, inhale. Exhale, right wraps underneath the left. So coming back into those Garudasana arms. Maybe it's palms together, backs of the hands, or the shoulders. And shift the weight into the left leg. Pick up on the ball of the right foot. Right leg lifts up. Wrap that right thigh around the left thigh. Sit it down deep. And press your shoulders against the imaginary wall behind you. Inhale, elbows rise. Exhale, shoulder blades roll down the back as you pull the forearms away from the face. One more breath like this. And we're going to take that inhale. Lift the heart just slightly. Exhale, elbows tap the knees. Activating your core. <laughs> Playing with your balance. Inhale, rise it back up. Slow. Unwind the legs. Keep the arms intertwined. Inhale here. Flex your right foot. Exhale, warrior three. Your Vidrasana three. So eagle arm airplane here. Keep the heart lengthening forward. It's okay if it's wobbly, but unwind the arms, send the arms alongside the hips. Pull the belly button up towards the spine. Let's take one more breath like this. Next breath, nice deep bend into that left knee. Giant but light step back, crescent pose. Inhale, palms come together at the top. Exhale, lengthen into the left leg. Pivot to the right leg, side lunge. <laughs> Skandasana, the front of your mat. Beautiful. Turn to face forward. Plant the left palm down. Lift the right arm up as you find a twist. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rolling open. Keeping those hips even. Sacrum flat. One more breath here. Maybe you're staying here. Maybe on that next breath, you're rolling to the outer edge of the left foot. Sending that right leg back. Bashi Stasana, side plank pose. Keep the hips lifted. Beautiful. On your next breath, float that right leg up. Circle the right hand down. That right leg is forward. Step it back as we move into a three-legged plank. You can do this with the left knee down if you need. Take an inhale. Exhale, right knee to nose. Inhale, kick it straight back. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, right to left tricep. Inhale, kick it straight back. Once again, maybe it stays floating as you lower halfway. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. One more time. Inhale, fill it up. Lion's breath, stick out the tongue, scrunch up the face. <sighs> Want to take that whole flow. Once again, breath to movement, right hand, left side. Take one more breath here. On your next breath, inhale, right leg drifts to the sky. Exhale, right knee to nose, and step it through. Soften your left knee down. Inhale, low lunge. Straight away, palms come together. Exhale, circle the hands down. Shift the hips back, straighten your right leg, half splits. Inhale, lift the heart. Rebend into the right knee. Tuck the left toes under, crescent pose, arms rise. Inhale, palms kiss. Exhale, lengthen the right leg. Pivot to the left leg, side lunge. Turn to face the back of your mat. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, right foot steps to meet the left. Inhale, fingers to shins like Bernarda. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Circle the arms wide to standing, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bend your knees, hips sit low, chair pose. Inhale, shift the weight into the right foot as you tee the arms out. Exhale, right elbow wraps on top of left. Left knee draws up and wraps around right. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the elbows. Exhale, elbows, tap the knees. Ground down through that right foot, rise it back up. Lift the left knee up towards the chest, inhale here. Exhale, push your left heel back, eagle arm airplane, the eagle arm warrior three. Unwind those arms, bend deep into the right knee, step it back, crescent pose. Inhale, palms meet. Exhale, lengthen the right leg, turn to the front. Skandasana. Pivot to face forward, right palm plants, left arm lifts, find your twist. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot, send that left leg back, Bashi. Flip the left leg up, sweep the left arm down and around, three-legged plank, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, left to right. Inhale, three-legged plank, lower down, chaturanga. Press it back up, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, straight away, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to nose, and step it through. Drop the right knee down, inhale, low lunge. Palms kiss, exhale, sweep the hands down, shift the hips back, straighten the left leg, half splits. Inhale, lift the heart, rebend the left knee, tuck the right toes under. Crescent pose, arms rise. Inhale, kiss the palms. Exhale, lengthen the left leg. Turn to the right leg, side lunge. Pivot to face the back of your mat. Inhale, dip the hips, lift the heart. Exhale, step the left foot to the top. Inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Circle the arms wide to standing, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bend the knees, hips sit low, chair pose, inhale, tee the arms out, shift the weight into that left leg as you sweep that right elbow underneath the left and come into Baradasana Eagle Pose, right leg drapes around, left. Inhale, elbows rise, heart lifts. Exhale, elbows tap the knee, navel folds in. 
Rise it back up, unwind that right leg. Take an inhale, exhale, drive that right heel towards the wall behind you. Eagle-armed warrior three. Unwind the arms, nice deep bend in the left knee. Giant but light step back, crescent pose. Inhale, palms come together overhead. Lengthen the left leg, pivot to the right. Skandasana at the front of your mat. Turn to face forward. One more time, plant that left hand, right arm lifts, bind a twist. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot, right leg stacks back, side plank. Float the right leg up, circle right hand down, three-legged plank, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick it straight back. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, right to left. Inhale, kick it back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. I want to hear it through the interwebs. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill it up. Exhale, let it go. <sighs> Beautiful. Slide the body forward. <sighs> Slow with control, lower all the way down to the mat. When you get to the bottom, untuck the toes. <sighs> Walk the hands back. Press in the tops of the feet. Lift the shins. The heart rise up. Cobra. Pull those shoulders away from the ears. Yeah. Take one more inhale, lifting a little higher. And exhale, lower down. <sighs> All right. You can stick with Cobra here. If you're ready for moving into Up Dog, feel free as you hug those elbows in, press into the feet, lift the heart, but you're coming up a little higher in Cobra, maybe all the way up in Cobra, or maybe you want to float those thighs and come into Upward Facing Dog. We are at the end of our practice here, so whatever's feeling yummy for you right now. Let's take one more inhale like this, rolling the shoulders away from the ears wherever you are, whether you're in Cobra, or up dog, slowly lower down. And one more time, third round. Press into the feet. Lift the heart, shins lift. Maybe it's thighs as well. Coming into up dog, maybe cobra. Finding your back bend. Beautiful. Breathe into it. Turn that up dog. Up the hips back down, and everybody lower back to the mat. Mm. Bend the knees, press over your calves, and sit back into child pose. Mm. First child pose, actually, in practice, to so take a moment and soak this in. Mm. One more breath here. And slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, shift the hips off to the right. Swing the legs around to the left in front of you. Come to the top of your mat. Right hip walks back, left hip walks back. Press into the hands for a moment, grow tall through the spine. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, folding in Paschimottanasana. Maybe it's your feet that you're grabbing today. Maybe it's the ankles, the shins. Don't really worry about where the hands go. It's finding the stretch that's appropriate here for you. Inhale, find a little more length through the spine. Exhale, hold it a little bit deeper. One more breath. On your next breath, slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. Fingertips forward, toes pull back as you lower all the way down onto the mat for the count of six. Keep it slow and controlled for five, four, three, two, and all the way down on one. When you get to the bottom, hug your knees into your chest. Rock it out side to side. 
to keep that right knee hugging in, lengthen the left leg toward the top of your mat. Shift the hips off to the right as you inhale. Exhale, twist the right knee across the body to the left so you find a spinal twist. If you feel any pinching in the low back, let's move your left hip a little bit more to the right side of your mat. I'm gonna give you an option to stay here. If you wanna get a little bit more to that IT band and outer hip area, you're more than welcome to extend your right leg straight, maybe grabbing the calf, the ankle, or the foot if it's available. Allowing that right shoulder to roll open. Take one more breath here. And your next breath. Release the foot if you have it. Rebend the knee. Bring that right knee back into center. Just give it a little rock side to side. And bring the right knee back in. The left knee meets the right. Keep that left knee hugging in. Lengthen your right leg out. Shift the hips off to the left as you inhale. As you exhale, draw that left knee across the body to the right. Supine spinal twist. And extend that left arm out to the side, allowing the shoulder to melt towards the earth. Match whatever you did here. So maybe you stay here. Maybe you're going for that. A little extra stretch in the IT band and outer hip by straightening your left leg. Nice deep breaths. I'm inhaling. I am exhaling. You take one more breath. On your next breath, re-bend the left knee, bring that left knee back into the chest. And again, just give it a little rock side to side. Take that left knee back in, right knee meets the left knee. Take a nice deep inhale, forehead up to the knee. Squeeze everything into a tiny little ball. One more breath like this. Exhale, sigh it out, let it all fall open. <sighs> As you make your way into Shavasana your final resting pose. Then welcome to shift, stay in Shavasana as long as you like. If you are going to close out with me, let's give a little wiggle into the fingers, into the toes. Take a nice deep inhale, stretch the arms overhead from the fingertips through the toe tips. Mm -hmm. Gently rock over to your right side as you take a moment, bend the knees, pause in fetal position, pose of new beginnings. So honoring this new beginning here for you right now. And sit up to a cross-legged seated position on your mat. Take the palms together at heart center, prayer position, Anjali Mudra. And as you return back into you, your breath, your heartbeat, and taking a moment to have gratitude for yourself for showing up here today on your mat and for taking the time out of your day to connect your mind, your body, your soul, and your spirit within as you think about that intention, bringing your emotions into your practice to free yourself of them. There's so much we hang on to day to day. A lot of feelings get locked up with inside, locked up with us inside, and it's so important to find a way to release them. The beautiful gift about yoga, about movement, is you don't even need words, but you can say everything that you need to. So I hope you were able to find that freedom here today. I thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.